In this recording, we look at how to work out the following integral. The integral of the square root of 1 plus square root x dx. And this is quite a nice example of a case of using integration by substitution. Now when we use integration by substitution, the idea is that we want to replace some of this expression in terms of another letter, u let's say. But the important thing is that while we can often do this to make an expression simpler, we must also be able to rewrite dx in terms of the new variable. So in this case our expression will need to all be in terms of u and du let's say. So let's see how we can go about it for this particular example. Obviously a choice of u is important. Now here it looks as though choosing u equal to the expression contained underneath the large square root sign might be a good idea. So let's try that. Let's let u equal 1 plus the square root of x. As that then means that we would be rewriting this first part of our expression as the square root of u. However, if this is going to work, we also will need to rewrite dx in terms of du. Just to make things a bit simpler, I'm going to just rewrite u in index form. So I'll write that as u equals 1 plus x to the half. And going back to our original integral, I'll think of that as the integral of 1 plus x to the half, all raised to the power of a half with respect to x. That's not essential, but often working with indices here can just make it a bit simpler. OK, so we can see that that first part will be replaced with u to the 1 half. But what about dx? Well, let's work out du dx to see what will happen. Differentiating 1 plus x to the half with respect to x, 1 just has a derivative of 0, and x to the half, that will become a half x to the negative a half. And then rearranging this, that means we get du is equal to a half x to the negative a half dx. So this is what we have to work with so far. I'm just going to leave a bit of space because I'm going to do a bit more juggling around in here in a minute. But this is what we're starting with. <coughs> now, we can see at this point that that first part, 1 plus x to the half, that's u. So we now have the integral of u to the half. That takes care of that part. But what about dx? We've got du equals a half x to the negative half dx. So before we put anything in here for dx, let's just rearrange this earlier part to make dx the subject. Now if du equals a half x to the negative a half dx, rearranging that gives us that dx is du divided by a half x to the negative half. And when you actually rearrange that further, division by a half, that's the same as multiplication by 2. Similarly, division by x to the negative a half is the same as multiplying by x to the half. So we find that dx equals 2x to the half du. So maybe we could put that expression in here. Would that allow us to evaluate our integral? And the answer is no. You'll notice I've rewritten this with 2x to the half in red here. This is not right. We cannot evaluate an integral here that's a mixture of two variables, u and x. So we must write that bit I've put in red, the 2x to the half, in terms of u in order to be able to work out this integral. But how can we do that? Do we know anything about a relationship between x to the half and u? And actually, yes, we do. We know that u is equal to 1 plus x to the half. So maybe that can help us here. We'll come back to this integral in a minute and fix that up. But meanwhile, let's rearrange u equals 1 plus x to the half to make x to the half the subject. And we can see that it then just becomes a case that x to the half is actually u minus 1. Now in our expression, we currently have 2x to the half. So that must just be two lots of u minus 1. So we can now fix the problem here 
by substituting in 2u minus 1 in the place of the 2x to the half, which was the part that made this incorrect. So now we can see that the original expression we were wanting to replace in terms of u and du, which was the integral of 1 plus x to the half, or raised to the power of half, with respect to x, it's now going to be the integral of u to the half times 2u minus 1 du. So that now makes sense. That is now an expression we can integrate. From here, that still looks a little complicated, but we can actually just take the 2 outside the integral sign, since that's a constant, which gives us 2 times the integral of u to the half times u minus 1 du. And this will become manageable if we expand the brackets. So using index laws, u to the half times u, that'll be u to the 3 on 2, minus just u to the half times 1 that will just be u to the half. So we now have an expression that's relatively straightforward to integrate. In particular, that's just going to become 2 multiplied by u to the 5 on 2, when we integrate that, divided by 5 on 2, minus 2 times u to the 3 on 2, divided by 3 on 2, and then plus constant c. Now it's a matter of just tidying this up a bit. So division by 5 on 2 is the same as multiplication by 2 fifths. And then multiplying that by 2, that just becomes 4 fifths u to the power of 5 on 2. Similarly here, we end up with 4 thirds u to the power of 3 on 2 plus c. So let's think back to what we started with. We we're wanting to work out the integral of the square root of 1 plus the square root of x dx. We're just about there now. All we need to do is rewrite this in terms of x. And what was u? Well, u was actually equal to 1 plus x to the half. So this is simply going to become 4 fifths times 1 plus x to the half to the 5 on 2 minus 4 thirds 1 plus x to the half to the 3 on 2 plus c. And really, it wouldn't be easy to simplify it much more than that. So that would be how we would use integration by substitution here. So one of the main important things is to remember to keep track of everything and to make sure that when you're using substitution, everything must be written in terms of u and du let's say, if you're doing a u substitution. You cannot evaluate an integral if the expression is a mixture of u's and x's.